I don't know, it's probably hooked on a rock. It's hooked on a rock. Oh my god, there it is. What's you that? Oh. No, oh my, is it? What is this? Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Oh, that yo yo yo, it, it truly never gets old, let me tell you. Dad and I, we are here at a lovely big old reservoir. We're starting it off on another fishing dock, and then when we're done with this fishing dock, we'll see what we got. But we're gonna hit that big old dam. I know, the last video, we got busy. We got real busy real quick, and we didn't make it to the dam. We didn't make it to the dam, we got so <laughs> busy that one hour and 30 minutes just to get something out of the water. Yeah, it was a struggle. Um, on the way up here, Dad and I were talking, I'm like, a hand crank type of winch uh, would have been really, really lovely that day. My back was toast after it. Were you, were you feeling it? When we was about 30 minutes into the pole trying to bring something up, I was seriously <laughs> going to pull my truck up to the top and bring my 14,000 pound winch up right. just to get it out of the water. Right. Speaking of that, look at Dad's truck. He's got the Dodge Power Wagon 6.4 liter beast. A lot of you guys know that we did have matching trucks, Dad and I. He had a truck just like mine, the Ram Rebel, but he had to go get a bigger one. Oh, the Power Wagon. I'm loving it. It's beautiful. Not only that, but look at this. Dad got the juice. Look at this lovely unit. Oh, look, that's all from the last Magnificent find. <laughs> I'll be darned. These are so sweet. I want one. But before we get going here, uh, I've had a lot of questions from y'all. Bobby, hey, I want to get into magnet fishing. Uh, what magnet should I buy? What magnets do you and your dad use? We have a lot of new viewers here. If you're new to the channel, if you're a new subscriber, thank you all for being here. Seriously, dad and I, we appreciate you. Smash the thumbs up. You know the deal. But this is what I run. This is an 1,100-pound uh, pull Wukong magnet. And it's just some random rope from uh, Harbor Freight. And Dad, he runs the same magnet, the same brand. Oh, yeah. And if you're new to magnet fishing, get yourself some gloves. You need them. He runs a Wukong magnet as well. It's an 800-pound pull, just a little smaller than mine. Like I've been saying, we need to get you on the 1,100-pound pull train. To need to go to 1100 but one thing to to realize that if you get something higher than 1100 i've seen magnets go up to 2000 pound pole yeah if you get caught on something that is not going to come out of the water you're going to lose your magnet yeah he, she gone she gone she gone she gone quick so in my preference if you're going to get out there and you don't want to lose your magnet I would I wouldn't go bigger than 1100. I'm I'm pleased with it. It pulls up about anything. But enough jabbering. I just wanted to answer those questions because there have been a ton of you getting into magnet fishing, new magnet fishers out there. Just want to help you out. Let's get out here. We 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 here we are at the first dock. You know how it goes. See what was it? A big old fish. Big old fish right there. Oh, the fish, huh? So this is what we've been kicking around. A lot of you have commented, you've said, hey, you and your dad need to take a fishing pole and catch some fish while you're on the dock and then do a little catch clean cook at the end. I think we ought to. We've been talking about it, discussing it and how we want to go about it and it's coming. Yeah, we need to do it. We're going to do some fishing one of these days, but here we go. Hey, don't, we won't throw him though. He's fishing right there. Yeah, we got a fisherman right over there. I don't want to disturb him. You missed one. There's a big fish right here, just come up to the top. Dad's making friends already. <laughs> your way. <laughs> Dad, I, I'm, I swear to you, he will make a buddy faster than anybody I know. <laughs> Dad, you crack me up. Oh, goodness. D, you got something on there already? No way. Well, bring her on up, Wilma, bring her up. I feel like I got something too. Nope. You got anything on yours? I just got some magnetic rocks is all I got. I think there's a chain or something down there from an old dock. Well, bring her up. See if there's anything on there, George. I'm going to take your magnet, not mine. You don't want to bring her up and show us? I don't think my magnet's been... You might have something on there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 
was just an old, that's an old swivel. Got an old, yep. Yeah, really old swivel that just and completely hook. fell apart and a hook. There we go. We're on the board, Dad. You have the first find. Look at you go. A lot of you guys know that we get out here and we make it a competition. If you want to find stuff, bring a buddy. Uh, for one thing, you'll have more than one magnet in the water. And for two, make it a little competition. See who can find more. When you do that, you tend to find a lot more because you're actually trying. Man, there's a lot of rocks. Big rocks. Oh, look at that. I'm on the board. A beautiful brand new, look at that. Oh, you too, what's yours? Heineken and an old Heineken. That's cool and a good hook. The Not same so guy a year apart. <laughs> I had to have been actually, look at that. Old and new Heinekens. I like that hook, that's hmm. new. Well, I think dad's right, he hit that on the head. Same guy, <laughs> a year apart. Dad's been fighting something over there, trying to yank something out of the soil, and I don't know what all you got there. You got some just old metal. There's an old nail. Top to a can. Top to a can or something. Yeah, there's something there. Keep working at her, bud. Keep getting her. I got something over here bouncing around, too. Oh, yep. Yeah, look at that. What do we have here? What is going on here? Uh, some string, oh that's, what is going on here? Pieces of metal attached to some string. And then right here we got a little jig head. Check that out. Well, nothing special so far. Yep, dad, you just hit it on the head. Dad was like, that's old steel braided cable. Like cable, dock cable, really old. Bucket material. <coughs> Something bouncing around. Oh, <laughs> another one. Two, two weeks in a row. That's that's way more usable than the last that one. one. Don't have no holes in it. Yeah. Two, yeah, two weeks in a back to almost back to back videos. Yep. This is the second or the third one that I found this season. It might be the third. That's crazy, man. Well, there we go, minnow net. That's the best find of the day so far, Dad. I oh, another hunt, look. What you got there? Mike's. 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 This ain't going too bad. This ain't going too bad. If y'all are liking the video, hit that thumbs up for me and Dad. We're out here, we're getting after it. Y'all have been liking the magnet fishing videos, and I will tell you, uh, I we, we, me and Dad, both of us appreciate you guys being here so, so, so much. By the way, if you have not hit that notification bell, do so. It'll notify you when we upload. We're uploading every other day at minimum right now. I got something, Dad. Yep, that's a big old tree bass. That would be a big... <laughs> oh yeah, I ain't taking that out. Old buddy over there fishing, he's like, put that back in. <laughs> oh, I don't want to take away the fish's habitat now. I got something that's coming up. Oh, look at this, Dad. Oh, oh shoot, I just lost it. It's a chair. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, there you go. Got a lure on it, too. Yeah, a couple of them. Look at that. Got a, that's, that's an old lure. What do you got there? Somebody's losing their lures yeah, on the chair. Yeah, a lot of lures. There's a good old crappie bait right there. Well, that's the first chair that I've found this year. You found the last one. Yeah, but... I'm killing the game right I'm now. Way <laughs> yeah. I'm killing the game I'm right now. I'm going to stay out here for 10 hours if that's what it takes. <laughs> oh, I done lit a fire under Dad's butt. Oh, shoot. Well, there she be right there. Heck yeah, that's uh, wasn't expecting that. I literally just dropped my magnet down and it went clunk and I pulled it up. It was just perfect placement. You got anything on there? Oh, another tree, but oh, look, there's a knife on there, dad. No way. Oh, look at, oh my goodness. Is that a military knife? Whoa, whoa. 
Whoa. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> oh, dad just came through like a champion. That was wild. I just came walking back down. He pulled this. Look, there's that's zebra mussels. See that? That's a zebra mussel on there. Yeah. That's why our magnets. Hey, you guys had a great suggestion. We're going to start doing it, making sure we wash our magnets yeah. before, just like this blue green algae deal. Before we go to a different body of water, wash your magnets. That, that's a good tip. But, Dad, you just here. That's yours, brother. Yep. It that's... only took me five minutes to break the game. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely the best find of the day. Uh, we just got started, boys. I hope we make it to the dock again. This could be an epic day. Oh, I'm cleaning this up. That's a nice one. That's definitely going in the toolbox, son. You, yeah. you got to call me son. I'm not, I guess you're not son. I'm son. <laughs> there we go. Come on now. If you haven't smashed that thumbs up button for dad and I. Woo, doggy. We deserve it. Let's get this video over 3,000 likes, y'all. Come on with it. Hook us up. A uh, little pro tip here for uh, you magnet fishermen out there. If there are fishermen near you, like we, we got a buddy over there, he's fishing. Uh, they're not here to listen to you yap or hoop and holler, and they're not here to uh, have their fish scared because you're chucking your magnet. So if there's fishermen around you, A, don't, don't be loud, and B, uh, don't chuck your magnet constantly because you will indeed make them mad and i mean it they will it, it's not it would not be appreciated put it that way look at that another bottle cap what do we got that is natural light there we go as you guys seen on the last video this is the same lake that we started off on uh, on the last video and check it out it's not near as apparent here but like right there you can see the blue green algae starting it's not good this lake is probably going to end up shut down here before too long because it seems like it's really getting around and it's spreading like crazy we got on there anything good nails, nails? yeah I feel like something's bouncing on here blue green algae is blooming i'm telling you what oh man that ain't good we got oh just some fishing string well, there we go. Another Natty Light bottle cap. Guys, if you're drinking out on the dock, put it in your pocket or in a bucket. Don't throw it in the water. Come on now. Oh, the most abundant thing ever. What did you get? Michelob Ultra. Mine is smearing off. Oh, someone got iced. Someone got iced. Guarantee it. Is it moving? little by little dad side hooked something another little pro tip is if you hook on to something and it keeps letting go drag your magnet back and forth and you'll eventually hook it this is why we need a, a grappling hook i'm gonna buy one <clears throat> check it out another heineken my goodness guy we have one two three four five six heineken bottle caps so far get it dad Look at them guns. Everybody's been commenting on, oh, see? Too much guns. <laughs> Way too much guns going on. Nothing, huh? Darn. Woo, boy. I was going bare feet here without the Crocs, but oh, it is way too hot. Ouch. Can't get your feet wet because of blue-green algae. That's fun. Look at that. Who would have thought? Another beer cap guys this is this just tells you at the end of this video we're going to count how many beer tabs we have uh beer caps it's going to be unbelievable because this is just from one dot guys it's just a reminder come on when you're out having a good time and enjoying nature respect nature you know don't let's not litter nature up here i literally just went around this whole dock with my arm out as far as i could have not checked it yet Oh, and we got something. Look at that. Trash. A whole can. A can of pineapple juice. I bet you somebody was mixing up some mixed drinks out here. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed. Not that long ago either because the label's still good. Anything good on your magnet? Nope. Just a bunch of junk. Well, well, well. That's probably going to do it on this dock. I think we done cleaned her out, Dad. I think we did. Um, I'm going to throw that chair away up there. I see a dumpster. Uh, we ain't hauling that around in the truck. You're, 
bed of your truck. That new deck deal you got is way too nice. Better go up there. I'm gonna throw that that knife you found away too. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, well, on to the dam we go. Dad definitely isn't letting me throw this chair away without getting these lures Ooh. off. <laughs> I'm keeping the lures. Oh yeah, we're keeping all the lures. All the good. These are good ones too, right here. Yeah. Pluck that guy off of there. But this right here, my goodness, Dad, what a beauty that is. That's what brand is? I'm trying to look for a brand here. Mm. Gonna have to wash. Yeah, we're gonna have to wash it up. I can't find or see a brand on it anywhere well here we go here we are i guess i'm, I'm gonna start right here dad you want to start on that other end and we'll work towards each other here we go now the thing about this you gotta stand up on this little ledge here this could get dangerous guys i just want to give a little forewarning uh when you're doing this stuff be careful be careful it's a long ways down there but it isn't very deep so if you fail you're going to hurt yourself, I can guarantee it. Give us something good today. Give us something good on the old dam. We've been trying to make it back here. We've been having really good luck on the docks, let me tell you what. There you go. Well, look what Dad just pulled up. Put it right there so they can see it. It's been in there for a long time. Yeah, that's it. That's been in there forever. That's a blade bait. It's the blade off a blade bait. No Good find. Box. First find. Definitely going in the tackle box. Uh, she's a little old, Dad. I mean, you, you got high hopes for this one. I'll I clean it up, but it goes into the collection. Yep. Oh, I got something, Dad. Holy cow, look at that. Oh, it ain't coming off. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. A oh, sign. A street sign. Yep, that's what that is. Yeah. Look at that that's a good find that's a good one man i just looked at that i was like this damn the bad thing about it it's hard to find stuff because it's such a long ways down makes it a lot more work you got to take your time and right when i did it, i bit my tongue look at that well good find. definitely ain't worth anything but we're cleaning up the waters i guess that'll go in the trash man all this trash what'd you get dad oh yeah an old bud light line and then that, I cannot tell what that is. I can't tell what it's blue. Ooh, looks like I got something on mine too. I'll be there in a minute. Uh, what is this? Just a piece of metal, a couple pieces of metal. Nothing fancy. Dad though, whoops, need my magnet. Dad though, he's got something going on over here. What do you got going on? Hold on, I'll nag again. You got a rope down there, you said? I think oh, I see it. I think there is a, I think there is a, uh, anchor. Yeah, there's a rope. It definitely a loop on the other end of this. One of okay, them. here, hold on a minute. Yep, we, we, we're going to get to work here. We got a, we got a rope here attached to something else. We're going to try to get this up. There we go. We pinched it. Oh, come on, baby. I know that's an anchor. Oh to something just grab that rope when it gets up here get yeah see. get your arm through there dad there you go yep yep okay a little bit to go now grab it there you go we got her we got a rope attached to something and that rope is weak is it weak that rope is very weak look okay. at all the hooks on it let me see here here let go of that rope take these magnets take those we'll have to unbreak those those are stuck together pretty good okay now we got a rope Good find, Dad. Oh, don't break. Um, my goodness, what is on that? Why is there a rope? Has to be an anchor. I'm gonna try to go to the side and pull it from the side a little bit. Oh, don't break. Come on, come on. Man, that's tight. Come on, baby. Oh. That is really attached to something. Yeah, I think My that, goodness. That anchor attached. I wonder if I put the magnet down there. I don't know. That. I don't know. It's probably hooked on a rock. It's hooked on a rock. Right? Oh my God. There it is. What's that? Magnet? Oh. No. Oh my. Is it? 
What is this? Somebody's magnet. That is a magnet. We just caught a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Jose. We, we just caught a magnet. Look how old the rope is. It has been in there for quite some time. Check that out. It just broke loose. That is a magnet. And that has been in there. That's been in there a while. Uh, look at it. Check it out. It has been in there for... That's amazing. How cool. Small world, right? Brought this up with it the first time. Oh, that, that ain't been in there very long. Look at yeah, that. that's a good sinker. looking sinker and hook. Yep, yep, yep. But finding a magnet. <laughs> We've never found a magnet before. We have never found a magnet magnet fishing. Nope. Look at that. It's been in there for quite quite some time. And no matter what you're fi magnet fishing with, your rope needs to be better than that. Well, the thing is, is well, maybe their rope did break. Or maybe they just gave up. Maybe it was a little kid that yeah. didn't have the strength that I did. You know what I'm saying? Those things get caught in this rock down here. And, and you're it's done. Over. It's over. Holy smokes. Well, buddy, if this is your magnet, hey, this guy very well might be watching right now. If this is yours, we will watch the comments like a hawk, me and dad. Drop a big old comment down there. Everybody, if you see this guy's comment and you know it's legit, you know, point him out. Let's get him his, his magnet back. Heck, I'll give you a new one, bud. But yeah, we'll give you a better magnet. I'll give you a brand new one, man. I cannot believe that. That's cool. That, that, that small world. <laughs> Never. I mean, I, I'd seen that rope come up. I knew there was something on the end of that rope, and I thought it was an anchor. Like I figured it anchor. was an anchor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's insane. Never caught a magnet before. Never caught a magnet before. Ironic, huh? <laughs> Oh, it just shows you get out there boys and gals. You never know what you're gonna find. I'm serious Man. I'm literally blown away. I cannot believe it Yeah, you get snagged easy on these big rocks. I've been snagged a few times and luckily uh, Another pro tip guys the longer rope you have the better uh, What one or two things happen with the guy that lost his magnet either he didn't have a long enough rope and he broke it and gave up. And another thing, get a thick rope because it's number two, his rope might have broke on him. That was a small rope. It's not a very uh, big magnet at all, but just like that, look, snagged up. I just moved the entire rock. That's the thing, you get a good rope, you can literally start moving rocks out of your way. Oh, see, it's just getting caught everywhere now. You throw it out there on these things and you're pulling it, it gets snagged every chance it can. I'll be darn first one of the season. We were just talking about this, Dad. We have not found any batteries. They're usually double A's is what they are every yeah. time. So first one of the year, usually by now we'll catch five or six. Literally, yeah. Huh. First one of the year, there we go. Magnet fishing season is underway, y'all. Oh, here we go. Yep, the usual. What do we got? Let's guess what 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 brand of beer is it? Oh uh, man, it's really dark. I would guess that's probably a Bud Light, but it's hard to tell. Look at this. Look what Dad just found. More trash. <laughs> that's ironic. Guggen Bates. You know my buddy Flair. Shout out Flair Daddy. Flat. Shout out Guggen Squad. That's that's ironic. Kind of cool. How you like that? <laughs> Really? What is it? Dad got over something again. This over this and over this. And yeah, over we've this. we've both been right here a bunch. What is it? Oh, look at you. Look at you. With the knife, with this. You're coming back. You beat my chair a long time ago. What do you got all on there, man? Got a bag, plastic bag and a fishing rod holder. And that's a good one. Yeah, that is a good that's one. That's nice and straight. Show the folks at home. Here, let me grab that so you don't drop that. Here you go. I got the trash. Look at that. That's a good old fishing rod holder right there. Good old find. Yeah, we've been in that same spot three or four times three now. Three or four times over the same spot, and this just comes up. It shows just stick around, keep at it, and you'll start finding stuff. Yeah. It is. That, that's, that's the name of the game. I'm serious. Patience. Yeah, having patience. Whew. Well, Dad and I have been here well over an hour, probably an hour and a half going on two hours. And I think we're about to our stopping point. Whenever I get to that point, I just start chucking. And uh, this is where you can lose your magnet by getting it caught up, just like our fella did up there. So 
this is where sometimes the risk isn't worth the reward you know what i'm saying some of these magnets the bigger ones they're not cheap you know so just be careful don't go cost yourself a bunch of money obviously i'm not careful at all <laughs> chucking it too he's chucking it too give her a look see and i'm gonna call her it's getting really windy out anything home nothing oh look at that we got a old rusted treble hook and that's about it what do you think should we call it i think so you about done last pull up for dad do you have anything um, looks like uh, maybe a nail or something on the bottom of it what is that what is it uh, yep a nail and a hook hook some yeah yeah <laughs> Woo! Sorry if it's a little windy, but we're done. We're all wrapped up. Check out the finds of the day. Now, mind you, we already threw away my lawn chair. That was actually one of the best lawn chairs that we've ever found. It was still in good shape. wasn't very old. But, uh, but if, if I was in need for a lawn chair, I'd have washed that one up. Right? Again. But Dad killed the game today. Here's my junk. I, I caught the chair. I caught this. I caught the middle net, which is cool. Look at all of those bottle caps, y'all. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. Two guys, one morning, and we find that many bottle caps, throw them away, don't throw them in the water. Dad, a little fishing rod holder. Uh, these baits were connected to the share that I found. First battery of the season, but Dad absolutely killed it with the knife. And you know what? Dad also found the magnet, I just pulled it out for you. We both called it, we both caught it, yeah. pulled it up. I'll give it to Dad though, he, tore me up today you wrecked the game today you, you really took the cake today this uh this here between the knife and the magnet someone's magnet i mean i've never even seen one like that it has for surely been in there quite a long time how cool is that remember if you're the one this if this is yours drop a comment down below let us know that is a small world it is small world it looks like a harbor freight magnet yeah it does it's just a utility magnet yeah. isn't it yeah Woo! but we've been putting on a lot of new subscribers a lot of you have been liking these magnet fishing videos and i appreciate it so so much y'all remember the fourth of july ducks freedom gear is only available until the fourth july so if you want something for your 4th of July party, like this bad boy right here, I'll link it down in the description. Hurry up, go pick it up before either they're gone or it's a 4th and you can't get them anymore. Uh, with you guys purchasing Ducks gear, it has helped the channel remain stable. You guys know that I have to uh, do this. this. This is how I make a living in a, in a few different ways, but I have to thank you guys for purchasing Ducks, for hitting the notification bell, for subscribing, for always commenting you guys out there always commenting no matter what video goes up thank you guys you guys are amazing people and i'm glad you guys are here with dad and i to experience our adventures again thank you all subscribe if you haven't and uh we'll see you on the next one I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real